Hi everybody, it's Hannah at the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana, and I just wanted to do a quick little walk through, step through a, of a very cute little album I just did as a baby shower gift. It probably took me about an hour and a half to put together, so this is great for a quick gift that is a very, um, from the heart gift since it is handmade and you can customize it for whoever you're giving it to. This is actually going to my niece. Her uh, baby shower is today, actually in a couple hours, so nothing like waiting till the last minute, but if you know me, that is just how I work best. So I started out with one of the six by eight Simple Story Snap Binders. Then I also used one of the six by eight pads that they have. I used as well one, you can see I used almost the whole thing, one of the 12 by 12 sticker sheets. And then along with that, I used one, maybe two of the photo flips. I like those, you get a little action, a little more bang for your buck on your pages. And then I just had a few variety packs of the six by eight protectors. Um, they have the full six by eight sheet. There's one that has a couple four by fours and then a two by two strip. There's one that has three by fours on it, um, as well as four by sixes, and we'll see that in, in the book. I haven't done the cover yet, um, but I will. I plan to put a little piece of paper onto the front, something like so, and then maybe a little bit of chipboard as well to just kind of jazz it up a little bit. So, all right, let's check it out inside. So the first thing I did on the inside out of the six by eight, I took one of the pages. Right now it's just slightly tacked down. That way she can take it out, go ahead and fill this in and then stamp those little feet and then glue it back in. Um, so I started it as just a from the beginning book. So I've got the, we're having a baby so she can put an ultrasound picture here. And then I just put the stickers on the outside of the page protectors. You can see here, you know, some things she's craving while she's pregnant. They did a little reveal so she can put pictures of that in here. I did put some just white pieces of computer paper in. That way she knows where to put photos. And then also as you're looking at it as a gift, it, it just looks a little better presentation wise. That way you're not seeing through the page protectors. And you'll see that later on in the book. I don't have them all filled in yet. But then again, just some quick little slip-ins. Again, putting the sticker, oops, go back on the screen here, putting the sticker on top of the page protectors. And I did this on the back side. This side here, she's still gonna need to be able to get into to slide the photo. So I didn't wanna put anything here, but I did on the back side. Just some quick little drop in. I figure, you know, more photos in this area because these, this could be um, photos from the shower today more photos for the shower. This here is out of the six by eight. I did one page in its complete size. This one here, I trimmed a little bit off the right and a little bit off the left. I created just a little score line here to make a hinge. So this is full size, punch the holes to put it into the book. And then I did a little quick little pocket here that she can slide um, maybe notes in, some little journaling pieces or even some more pictures. And then she could put pictures here as well. And it's a little interactive piece and she could do more pictures here. Just another quick little simple, simple four by six drop in, sticker on the front. This side here, again, you can see I didn't put the piece of paper in there yet. And then just a little journaling piece, or she could put photos there as well. This one here, just a page out of the book itself. And then on the back side, you can see just some things that she can go ahead and document. So probably right about here will be when we'll transition into the baby um, coming home and the hospital pictures. So again, little four by fours here, some stickers on the outside as well. Same thing on the back. Again, this is quick and easy, but what a cute little gift this is. So again, slip-ins, photo will slip right in here. Trying to make this as easy as possible for the recipient, especially if they're not a crafter or a scrapbooker. Stickers on the outside. That way all she has to do is just glue and or drop them in. Here's another one of those pages out of the six by eight. A little photo can go here and just a couple of little two by twos that came out of that snap pack. I love the back side. You are my sun, my moon, and all of my stars. Love that little quote. And then this one here, just a full size one in the six by eight. Just some cute little things adhered here. She can put a photo down here. And then the back side is where I did put in one of those photo 
flips. So it gets you just a little bit more. So it's really cute like this, nice little saying. And then she can put a picture here, here, and another picture there as well. Here's some more places here for photos, stickers on the outside, just easily dropped in. I love this one, eat, sleep, poop, repeat, because that's about what they do. So I thought it was kind of, you know, just appropriate for the book. It's how you feel at times, and there needs to be a sleep-deprived one for the moms. Another just a six by eight page out of that page packet, and then, or that paper packet, and then on the back side, I took one of the four by sixes, glued it down on three sides to make a pocket, and then these little guys here slide in and out. This is a sticker off that 12 by 12 sticker sheet, and I did baby powder part of it, so it would not be sticky, and it gives you a little dimension there as well, and then the stickers here on top. Another three by four pocket page just slipped right in some little stickers and then on the back side I did take one of those little two by twos out of the snap pack and glued it right in the middle I can do that on this side because on the other side is where she's going to be able to or still need to get access to but this side is closed so you can put something on the back there this page here another they're all quick and easy that way she can just drop some photos in cute little verse same thing on the back just slide some photos in this one here is another page out of the six by eight paper pad. Um, uh, punched the holes right here. Took one of the little four by four squares, made a little score line about a half, I usually do about a half an inch for these score lines. It gives you enough room for adhesive, liquid glue, whatever you wanna use. And then that way she can put something behind. And I've got a little sticker down there as well for her. On the back, if you wanna cover this up, it's just so cute the way it is with the mommy, daddy, and the baby giraffe side here again just quick easy ones that she can slide pictures in same thing on the back she can just slide in from the other side and there are some stickers there as well this one here you can see I didn't do the paper in there so it definitely makes a difference to put that paper in there for them because otherwise as they're looking at it, it just looks really busy um, but I figure by this time you know at this point she gets the idea so again just slide those in and some little stickers down there as well there's the back side. Slide in, slide in, some little stickers. This is another little interactive page that I did. So this one here is two pieces out of that six by eight paper pad, this one right here. What I did for this one is I took a little bit off the one side, made the hinge at the top this time, and then I took my border sticker, adhered it along the bottom, and then came back in just with a detail scissors, and then I trimmed those scallops, and then it'll flip up that way. So now she can put pictures up here, journal up here, whatever she wants to do, and then there's more room for pictures down here as well. So I'll flip that over. On the back side, I took another one of those little four by four pieces out of the snap pack and I made a little pocket out of it. So it's got a little quote here. She could put a picture on the back, journal on the back, whatever she wants to do. And there's even enough room she could put a picture up there if she would like to. Next page, this is another little quick little four by six. So she can just drop that picture right in. Cute little quote there. Same thing on the back. Again, adding stickers on top of the page protectors. This one here. I'm downstairs and Phoebe is chewing something. Phoebe, stop that. Stop it. Whenever I'm distracted, that's when she starts tearing stuff up. So she's eating a box down here. I will deal with you in a minute, please. So this one here, we can just slide them in. More slide ins. The backside stickers. Um, just this one here. Little six by eight that I turned the other way to create a little pocket or flip out page that way. Another little page just out of the six by eight. This was a leftover two by two from when I did the pages that had the, here we go, that had the four by fours and then that little strip that was just a scrap that I had left. So I glued it down, stuck some little stickers there and then she can do whatever she wants with the back. And then the last page here, just another little four by six. And then this has kind of a little summary of babies first. I put it at the end of the book because obviously you're not going to do your first haircut, you know, in the beginning or first bath. So I stuck it at the end just so she can kind of write those dates in. And I do have paper left, so I may even, you know, put a little final page in the back here. 
So again, this was super quick. I think it turned out so cute uh, with it being those drop in pictures and pages. It is so easy for the recipient, especially as a new mom. And even if they are a scrapbooker, whenever you have that new baby at home, you don't, you don't have time to scrapbook that new baby, but you're taking tons of pictures. I think with the twins, they were like almost two by the time I started scrapbooking again, just because I was so busy with everything. So I think this will be perfect. Um, I may even throw in some empty one of these, give her some of the scraps that I have left just in case she you knows she has extras and she wants to do something with them. But otherwise, I hope she loves it. I know I love it. Um, and it was simple, easy, and handmade, which is always a gift from the heart then. So, all right, everybody. I'm Hannah from the Doodlebug in Jasper, Indiana. You can find us online. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video that I did. Hopefully it motivates you to realize how easy it is to do a mini album as a gift. Um, even if you're down to crunch time and you have, you know, a couple hours before the shower and you haven't started your gift, you can get it done. All right. And again, if you need us online, www.thedoodlebuginc.com. Otherwise, you have a great day. Thank you.